As mentioned previously, we're going to focus more on cells in the nervous system that are important for neural messaging. These are the neurons. And I'm showing you a diagram of a prototypical neuron. No neuron looks like this. But neurons do come in many sizes and shapes. And typically microscopic, they can be long enough to extend from your big toe all the way up to your spinal cord. So we're left with this perhaps prototypical neuron, which is useful because it helps you learn its parts. Beginning at the bottom of the screen, I've drawn a long black arrow to show the direction of intraneuronal transmission. Intra means within, and so here, neuronal transmission, the direction of a signal across a single neuron, is from left to right. Note also that this is an electrical phenomenon. I've drawn the cell body for the neuron, and it is also referred to as the soma, a vocabulary term. And within the soma or cell body, you have the nucleus of the cell. And like other nuclei and other cells, this contains structures that are important for the cell to survive. And it contains genetic material. Extending out from the soma as sort of branch-like structures, you have the dendrites. And then the long part of a neuron is the axon. Finally, at the other end of the neuron, you have what we're going to call the presynaptic terminal. Pre means before, so guess where the presynaptic terminal is located. It's the terminal or end of the neuron before the synapse. Now, your textbook and other resources refer to the presynaptic terminal as a terminal button. I'm fine with that, but I think learning it as presynaptic terminal gives you some memory cues for being able to learn the information more easily. So when we look at the bottom of the screen again, at the direction of intraneuronal transmission, an electrical signal traveling along the length of a single neuron, it begins at the dendrites and it ends at the presynaptic terminal.